everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Art Studio. This is going to be a quick video about bling. And what makes this particularly different is that this is, let me move this out of the way, um, a close-up of a pattern that is on the back of a denim shirt. This is a DTF. Uh, I ironed it on very successfully. As you know, lately I've had a lot of trouble uh, with irons and with ironing, and um, I wanted to show you what a successful one looks like that has already been colored. I did this completely with acrylic markers. No paints, just the markers. And the customer who I am doing this for has seen the colors, they approved it, and now I am applying the bling. And I just wanna go over some tips and tricks with applying bling to a DTF in addition to some processes that you may wanna consider if you're putting bling on yourself. Now. Just so you know that the sample that I have in uh, on display at the booth is much larger than this one. This one measures about 11 by 11, and it's because I didn't want to look like there was a gigantic bullseye on the back of this shirt. And so as a result, the size of the bling that I used in the sample is going to be completely different than what I'm going to be using here. So what you see me doing is starting with the smallest sized bling first. And in this particular case, I am using the Preciosa Citrine size, stone size eight. Um, and this is the smallest I'm gonna use on this shirt. I've looked at all the patterns here and I don't think I need anything smaller. I could go to size six, I really don't want to. They're very hard to deal with. And I'm really hoping that the, the um, eights are the smallest that I have to go to. Now, I've already tested these sizes right here in the center. They're going to require either 12s or 16s. I'm still a bit on the fence. I'll wait and try those out here in a bit. But you always have to start with your smallest stone size first. And the reason being is you need the heat to reach every single stone, and the only way that's going to happen is that they don't have any other higher stones preventing the iron touching the surface of each one of these stones as I go to heat set it. So I thought I would also pull over, let's see, what do I have here? I know I have some, some light rose, um, and this is another Preciosa, and I'm going to grab another one of my little triangular things here. These are so handy. I really, really like them. Um, I, I used to be able to get them. I haven't lately. I'm going to try to go out there and look for a source. Now this says SS8s, but I'm looking at this and there's no way. And let me show you why. Um, and this is a good example too, because if, if you mismark it, just like I did, um, then you're gonna end up using the wrong, wrong stone size. So let me just put this down next to the eights that I've already used. And let me zoom in here so you can see this. Oops, so let me move the phone over just slightly so that you can see this. Ah, there we go. So let me get this right here and then point. So there is the stone size, what, what I thought was eights, but in fact, you can see the difference between the two of these stones is is pretty substantial. Um, in fact, let me do it this way again. I'll put it on that red, or this is even better. Let me flip it over so that you can see the back. And you can see the gray glue that is on the back of these. Um, I always like to show this when I'm demoing is that glue, it sometimes has different looks. Some of it can look metallic. Some of it can look gray. Of course, naturally now that I try to flip this over, it's not going to. Um, there we go. So let's push these two together and you're gonna be able to see there is quite a difference in size there. So the yellows are the eights and the ones that are mismarked here in my uh, cup are tens. Um, I'll maybe using those later on here. In fact, let's just do that. Let me put them up right here. I'm just gonna put one there. Oh, very good. 
oh, that's a very good size. Now, despite, you know, the convenience uh, that it would be to, to be able to put the heat on both of these, I can't do that. I really need to get the, all the yellows down first, get them heat set. If there were any other small SS8s, stone size eights, um, I'd wanna put those down first before I move on to the stone size tens. Because it's, it's, and it's hard for you to see this, I realize, um, because I can't really get an angle, but the tens are definitely taller than the eights. And so there would be really no good way for the iron to actually reach down and get that. So I am going to pull these away. This is really looking good though. I'm already excited about getting this done. So the Denton Guild will actually get to see this shirt finished. And uh, I will be talking about how, you know, how well this went with a DTF as, uh, and, and the acrylic markers for applying. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I don't need all of the stones down. Certainly that would be helpful. Um, but for this demo purposes, I just put a few down and I wanna show you how to use, and, and this is gonna be using a common house iron. So let me zoom back out again. There we go. And I'm gonna move these away. Now, um, I am, as always, very paranoid about these DTFs, and since this is not mine, I'm going to want to take extra super precaution in putting the rhinestones down. So what I've got here is some parchment paper, and I'm just going to lay it very gently, kind of let it fall. Now, you might be able to see this, and I'm gonna press this just a little bit. You can see the stones through the paper. This is why I like to use parchment paper. Now, I have my handy dandy little black and decker. Again, this is the, the saga of the irons that I was talking about earlier. Um, this is, and let me see if I can get this in, into the picture. This is, there we go, my light and easy. This is my fave iron at the moment because it gets nice and hot and it has no shut off. So here's what I'm gonna show you. I'm just going to come down straight down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I was pressing firmly. So now I'm just going to try to lift off as best as possible, immediately remove the paper Take a look at these, you know, just kind of, ah, oh, boy, oh, that's a good, 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 oh yeah. That's great, that was perfect. So that makes me very happy. Um, these are all very firm. Now these are Preciosas, and I will tell you that next to Savorskis, which of course are much more difficult to find these days, um, if at all, uh, these are the next best things. So because this is a commission, I like to use the best, and this is what I have available. So that's really it in a nutshell. I'm not going to, to beat this into the ground. I did want to at least discuss what you would do as far as applying bling on a DTF and give you a quick demo. So I hope this helps, and as always, questions or comments, leave them below. I will respond, and as always, Thanks for watching.